Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about self-confidence and this is something I get a lot of questions about and that is how can I build my self-esteem or how can I become more self-confident? So I, I really connect when I hear people talk about that because when I was growing up I had very low self-esteem, I had very little self-confidence, so when I hear others, you know, talk about their, you know, maybe how they're not feeling so great about themselves or something, I connect with that instantly and I totally know how you feel. So I have a few tips I want to share with you that really helped me break out of that kind of funk and just kind of break out of the funk and break into life. That's, that's what I want to help you do if you're kind of dealing with any kind of stress or struggling right now. What you want to remember first and foremost about self-confidence and self-esteem is that it comes from the inside and it is yours and yours alone. You should never allow it to be dictated by an outside source. Those outside sources don't matter at all. They don't have an effect on your self-esteem and your level of self-confidence unless you allow them to. So just know that, that it's completely in your control and it's up to you to nurture your self-confidence. Tip number two, let go of fear. Fear of failure, fear of making a mistake, fear of rejection, fear of embarrassment. All of those types of fears do nothing good for you. They don't protect you in any kind of way. All they do is hinder you from going out and living life and having new experiences. So if you just can cut yourself free of all of those kinds of fears, you'll be so much better off and you'll be able to kind of grow more. You'll be able to boost your self-confidence because you're going out without that fear kind of clinging to you and hindering you uh, from enjoying new experiences. Like say say you have fear of making a mistake. Like that, that was me for a long time. I was always afraid of making mistakes so I just wouldn't do new things. I was just like afraid of, I don't know, doing new things maybe in front of people or trying new things, uh, whatever it is. I just always kind of felt like a little bit of fear of maybe embarrassment or just, I was just always held back by, um, you know, those kind of fears that I mentioned. So instead of that, like, like say you're getting together with your friends and they're going to go water skiing. You've never gone water skiing, but you would like to, but you're afraid of making a mistake or failing, you know, failing or embarrassing yourself in front of everyone um, for not doing it right or whatever, or not succeeding in it. Uh, well, if you're always held back, then you're never going to learn, you're never going to accomplish that new challenge or have that new experience. So all it does is hold you back. And so you don't want to be held back from life. You've got to push on ahead, break through, cut yourself free from fears, and just go for it. And you will have so much more of a fulfilling time in your life um, just by cutting yourself free from being afraid of things. Okay, let's do another one. So say you like someone and you want to ask them out. I don't care if you're male or female, you want to ask them out and you're afraid to because you're afraid that they may reject you and they may say no and you may feel embarrassed afterwards. Well, instead of thinking of all those things in your head ahead of time of what, what could happen that's bad from it, instead just think, well, what really is the worst that could happen? They say no, so? Then, then there, that's that, on to the next, right? It's like, well, you might have really liked them and they said no, but that's where it ended right there. It's like, you're, there is no embarrassment that needs to tag along with you or whatever, it was just like, you know, you went for it and whatever happens, happens. So there's just, there's just no room for having fear attached to you and holding you back, you know what I mean? Um, so that's, but just like I said, just cut yourself free from that because it does nothing for you except try to hold you back and drag you down. So we don't want that. We want to focus on forging ahead and the forging ahead and accomplishing new, um, you know, new challenges and being successful in new challenges is what's going to help boost self-confidence and it's going to help build your self-esteem. And it's going to help you be more sure of yourself and in all future events and all future challenges. So every little challenge, whether you fail or succeed, it builds you into a stronger person. Tip number three is challenge yourself. And it's very similar to what we just talked about, but I felt it was important enough to put a little more focus on that. And that is making goals and challenging yourself and pushing yourself towards those goals. The more you push yourself, the more you boost your self-esteem and your level of self-confidence. 
And the more you push yourself to those goals, the more successes you have, and it just kind of gets the ball rolling. So that's why I feel it's really important to set goals and be sure to challenge yourself, push yourself further than you think you can go, and you will be amazed at what you're able to accomplish. Tip number four, I want you to think about your inner dialogue. This is something that happens from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep at night. We are constantly thinking and having a kind of like a conversation with ourselves, not out loud, but just in our, well, sometimes maybe, but mostly it's just in our heads. And we're just thinking all these little thoughts constantly about ourselves, about things, about what's going on tomorrow, about what went on yesterday. Maybe you're dwelling on something that's gonna go on or that went on. And it, it can either be negative or positive. It can have a negative effect on your self-esteem or a positive effect. So maybe you're thinking, you know, oh gosh, why did I say that to that person? Or why did I do that? Or that was so dumb, or I'm so stupid. Or, you know, we say these little things, or maybe you're standing in front of the mirror and you're like, oh gosh, I, I look like crap today. Or uh, I just, I don't, I feel like crap or whatever it is, you know? We, we think all these little thoughts, just like little split second thoughts in our heads about ourselves. So what is your inner dialogue and your self dialogue saying about yourself? Are you having more negative thoughts than positive? Or are they mostly positive? If they're mostly positive, then you're probably already good with your self-confidence and your self-esteem. If they're more negative, which a lot of us naturally tend to lean towards more negative thoughts, uh, the reason for that is because it's human nature. You know, it's part of human nature that we, we find little negative things because we're problem fixers. We wanna fix things, we wanna kind of perfect things as best we can. We're always looking to improve. So it's okay to think, you know, um, I want to like improve this or I don't like this, I want to improve on that. That's, that's one way that you can kind of turn it over into a positive light. Instead of just thinking, oh, I look like crap and leaving it like that, you can be like, well, I don't feel that great right now or maybe I'm not in the best shape I, I could be, but if I eat a little better, you know, then I could be. Or set some goals that you can push yourself in a better direction, have, have that positive light on whatever you're thinking, rather than just kind of leaving it at, oh, you know, I'm, I'm so stupid, or I'm not smart enough to do this or that, or whatever it is, you know, just be like, well, you know, I'm, I might not know how to do that right now, but I could in the future if I really want to, and I really push myself. So that's a way to kind of twist that into a more positive way and a more positive tone about yourself. And just by doing that, you can kind of help, help boost that self-confidence back up. Like you can, if you really want to achieve things rather than just saying, well, I suck, you know, or, or whatever it is. Or say you're in school and you're getting bad grades or there's a certain class that you really suck at. Uh, for me, it was math. So I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm just like so stupid. I just, why can't I grasp this? It seems like everyone else is getting this and why can't I understand this? I don't understand how to how to solve these problems. And instead of just thinking, you know, oh gosh, I'm, I'm so dumb. Why can't, why am I the only one not getting it? Instead, just think, well, okay, well, Maybe, maybe I learn in a different way. Maybe the teacher explains it in a different way that doesn't connect with how I understand things. So maybe you just need to you know, talk to someone else, a tutor or a friend or something else, and maybe there's another way that you can understand it. So don't just think that, oh, you know, oh, I'm, I'm so dumb, why can't I get this? Instead think, well, I learn in a different way, so I just need to find that other way so I can learn it too. So see, there's just a different way that you can just kind of put the spin on it and just shed a positive light on whatever, whatever you're trying to accomplish. Tip number five, avoid having toxic people or habits in your life. And what that means is you can have maybe a relationship that is toxic or a friendship. You know, maybe the person is just kind of draining you, draining you of your self-esteem, your self-confidence, um, just a natural sense of happiness. Sometimes there can be relationships where you're trying to keep them alive and you don't realize that it's an unhealthy relationship. Or maybe you do realize it's an un unhealthy relationship, but you put so much time into the person that you don't want to just let go. But if you are in a relationship and they're just draining the life out of you, um, which I, I have been in that position before in my life, and. Uh, it wasn't good and it took me a long time to cut them out of my life, but I finally did and I was so, so much better off. I just, uh, it was just like a huge weight had been lifted and although it was scary at the time to be on my own all of a sudden, 
it was so necessary to do. There is such thing as a toxic relationship and it's important to recognize that when it's going on, um, if you're doing the makeup breakup thing and it's causing way more stress and way more unhappiness in you than, than happiness, then you might need to um, consider what's best for you. Now for the second half of that tip was the toxic habits part. So maybe there's some kind of habit that you have, some kind of bad habit. Maybe maybe it's something that you want to stop, like maybe you smoked for a long time or something and you want to quit smoking. Maybe you drink or drink too much and you want to quit that. Um, or maybe you eat a, a lot of junk food or something and you really want to stop because it's not making you feel very good. So whatever it is that you're doing that is kind of taking a toll on your body and you want to stop, then definitely take steps towards stopping. And then once you have kicked that habit, you will just feel so amazing and it's going to be such a boost to your self-esteem. So what I want you to do right now for me is just gather up any of those negative thoughts. Like any, if you have like reoccurring negative thoughts about yourself, just gather those all up. Any insecurities or anything, gather them up, push them out of your mind right now. Just get rid of them. They do not exist. You do not care about them. You're not holding on to them. Just let them go. And what I want you to do is focus on one thing, just one thing that you love about yourself. And I want you to tell me. Tell me in a comment. If you don't want to comment, that's okay. Just tell me to the screen right now. All right, I want to go ahead and wrap up this video, but I had one more tip that I wanted to share with you. So the last one is treat your body as a temple. And this is something that I found really helped me a lot, um, especially when I was like a young teenager and kind of growing up. I, I really started like focusing on my health and trying to like clean up my diet because I used to eat a lot of junk food when I, when I was young. I would get all stressed out and junk food was just kind of like what I went to, um, to just kind of like feel better again. And so instead of doing that, I ended up just, you know, kind of like cleaning up my diet and working towards like an eating clean sort of uh, fresher diet. And I say the word diet, but I don't mean diet. I, yeah, don't, don't diet. I never recommend like diets. I mean, I'm talking just like nutrition, right? The, the food, your food intake and eating clean is really the best, um, the best way to feel good from the inside out, uh, especially, you know, when it comes to like about your body and um, that and exercise. Exercise, I would say like saved me. Exercise, music, eating clean, um, all of that just like helps like rebuild my self-esteem, my body and just it just made me feel like a whole new person um so exercise is like a huge huge one for uh, feeling good about yourself and kind of boosting it's like a major self-confidence boost um so that's that's i think the last and final final tip that i want to share with you guys um for this video anyway so thank you so much for watching i hope that somewhere in all of this i hope you got some kind of tips that um that helped you or maybe they were at least food for thought to kind of think about and maybe maybe you'll be able to find your own ways of being able to help kind of rebuild your self-esteem and boost your self-confidence um, in a way that works for you so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye